Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I am joined by my cousins. They are over here smiling Hi. and um, being shy. Um, <laughs> my very very famous cousin Peter who has a YouTube channel as well but is not posting any videos. Um, yeah, but they want to make a PC for their mom. Uh, their mom plays computers, it's Farmwell, farm farm yeah. And apparently that sucks the crap out of a computer. Um, so we were gonna try and build a computer using this um, engineering sample Xeon processor. Uh, I think this was an 8 core, 2.6 gigahertz. Well, if it works, we'll find out. Uh, and my cousin John has just gotten this system board home from China and a cooler is that also from China yes. also from China and uh, yeah we're gonna try and build this and see if it works I think we need the processor in before you put those on there yes ain't they going out that way no, no, they're going into. into yeah, that, they will block the RAM if they do that. Maybe they can go this way. We'll probably have to check this to see which way it goes. Cooler master. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have to go onto that thing, right? Yes. Oh, then you can have a the cord. Okay, that way. And they screw on there? Yes. Okay. I've always been. Uh, oh no! Oh cross. no! I'm not gonna read the comments of this video. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, they go the other. Is it self tapping? Or is there. There's a tap on the. Ah! Okay, so there's... It's not like it's going up on the side from the other side. No, because there's a screw that there's an insinkling here to it. It's on the other side. And remember to remove the piece of plastic in the bottom. <sighs> details, details, details. Not important. Just a tank to please. It's going to be very interesting to see if this engineering sample thing will work at all. Okay, so the CPU cooler is mounted. We need the, or the heat sink is mounted. The cooler needs to be put on. So, yeah. We are gonna make it so that it blows. Uh, you see the, the connections here, they go out the back of the computer and we want the air to come from in front of the computer and go out the back. So we're gonna have the fan blow blow that way. Let's do that. DDR3 RAM, 4 GB blocks. Hope it uses that RAM. It would be a real shame if it turns out it doesn't use it. <sighs> I must admit, it didn't even come with a manual, this motherboard. Or somebody ate that. 
So this is the the amount of information that you get. What was the price of the system board? Five hundred uh, Danish. So eighty eighty dollars, something like that. Yes. Okay, so we have the system board completed now. Well, well, it doesn't come with a graphics card, so we're gonna put in this old Radeon um, HD fifty eight seventy. Just for test. Yeah, just for testing, and it's gonna be able to sit right there. It's almost as big as the system board itself. This was a cheap uh, fan I, I bought on Black Monday. It's an AG Plus. It's just to have a reserve and. Be um, quiet power supply, system power 9, 500 watts, okay. I don't know if it's any good, but it was cheap and just to test. And was this a, a certified? So. Yes, we need a monitor as well. <laughs> yeah. okay. It's sleeved and There's some spec screws. Power cord. Oh, power cable. <clears throat> awesome. Mounting screws for the probably for the mounting in the cabinet. I'm usually a fan of uh, duct tape. <laughs> uh, it's kind of amusing that the the manual for the power supplies. Is, is bigger or it's actually there compared to the system board. Okay, we have connected the power supply and we need some power to the screen as well. So this is the setup right now. Getting the monitor and the keyboard connected and then we're gonna try and power this up and see if we're lucky. And yes, um, Peter here has been in charge of cable management. This is his specialty and he, um, he, he doesn't think this is a joke at all. He's very serious with this kind of work. Okay, this system board does not have a power on and power off button. So um, Jan is probably going to have to short circuit it to try and start it. wonder if he has turned on the power supply. Yeah, it is on. It's on. I did. It helped me. Not really doing anything. Now it's doing something. Okay. It just needed the right key. Uh, show us, show us the key, please. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we need the the screen to not take the analog channel. Digital channel. Yeah, that was easy. You uh, see, 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, let's go see the CPU. What what does it see of the CPU? It sees 2300 hertz. That's not a lot. I hope it can go higher than that. Oh, it can't. Hmm. This was an engineering sample that I bought on eBay in... Oh, I bought it on Amazon in the United States and I had it shipped here and it didn't work in any server. So, but this um, Chinese system board is apparently not as picky. So uh, it at least works here, although the clock frequency is lower than expected. It does have eight cores, uh, 2300 hertz going down to about 1200 when it's not doing anything. Okay, it seems my memory is not too great because uh, here it says that this Intel Xeon E5 2660 is actually 2.2 gigahertz and it um, it gets a score of 11,100 almost ish. So let's just check that. So 2.2 gigahertz and it's able to turbo boost up to three gigahertz it has 8 cores and 95 watts TDP. 11,098. Awesome. So I have Jerry rigged. Um, this is actually an SSD that uh, Sasha Lopez sent me from the United Kingdom. Thank you very much, Sasha. So 
you plug that in where we want it. Uh, and we are using that because I have installed, I believe it's Windows or Server. Uh, we'll see that. I think maybe it's Server 2016. And Jan says that he got that cooler really cheap because it could only go red. Yeah, where is the classic sign for your signal? <laughs> error, error, error. So, booting Windows. That's almost too easy. As I always say, it's no fun when it works the first time. So, uh, we're gonna plug in the mouse. This is the Lenovo mouse that I also got from Subscriber. Let's see it. Probably I have to log in. We're up and running. And I just happened to have a couple of speed tests on this system. We can check if it's any good. So we'll just pop in some drivers first. Drivers? Who uses drivers? For the CPU? Oh, we can test the CPU without drivers. Collecting information. We'll run this and be right back. Okay, it scored uh, 9757. So. We're gonna try Cinebench and see how that goes. So let's close this down. Bad score, yeah. We're gonna run Cinebench here. That's usually a little bit more uh, fun to watch. So CPU, test. Oh, we can see some of my tests down here. Maybe we should have picked a higher screen resolution for this. Hope it doesn't matter with the CPU to Okay, that's that's not that great. So Jan is gonna unwrap the cabinet here. Again something that was spoiled. Oh, the chassis. Jan is the king of cheap. He uh, he gets all the good deals and um, seeks them out and buys way too much stuff. Plus Yeah, this might be just a bit too big for that tiny little system board. Maybe it can house four of them. Then we could um, we could make a, a quad quad computer case. As this is an engineering sample, it, it's not exactly like the E5 2660. Uh, this engineering sample uh, it uses 130 watts uh, or. The TDP is of 130 watts, and apparently it's a 2.3 gigahertz processor, and it goes up to about when we when we stress it, we can see that it goes up to about 2,500 hertz. Well, we haven't stressed it that much right now, have we? Hmm. No. We can just see the multiplier goes from uh, 12 to 25, and when it's go up to full, is 2,500. Okay, so 16 gigabytes of RAM is clearly not enough for playing Farmwell. So we're gonna be trying to put in 64 gigabytes of RAM. So instead of four gigabyte blocks, we're putting in 16 gigabyte blocks. This is a Java game, so it's a bit uh, picky about that, you know. It boosts that as well. So that works. 64 gigabytes of memory. Okay, so I actually found something to use that engineering sample for that I bought years ago. If you've been a long time subscriber here, remember to give this video a like. <laughs> but beside that, you will remember that engineering sample that I tried in my, at that point, new, brand new Lenovo X3650 Model 4 uh, that came with a couple of really bad and slow CPUs and my first test was to buy a couple of engineering samples which didn't work at all so um, now they will work in this uh, that machine and it will be used for farm wheel so we hope that it's gonna be running well so yeah thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye